Hey my loves, welcome back to Everything in Teresha. Hope you all have been well. We are back in my kitchen, yes again, in my kitchen. And this time with something different. And guess what? Guess what? I'll be sharing with you all what's in my fridge, how I stock up to try and stay healthy, you know, because they say 80% of the health of your fitness comes from your kitchen, yeah. If there's anything like that by the way anyway if you want to see what's in my fridge and how I stock up to stay healthy come with me come oh by the way did you see this set do you like it what vibe is it giving you what vibe is it giving you King already King already King already King already I saw this on River, Rivers Island and I was like, you know what? I'm getting me a set. Cause who doesn't wanna feel like Beyonce, huh? Like Beyonce. Anyway, back to the video. If you wanna see what's in my fridge and how I stock up, keep on watching and come with me. Come. Today we're giving you something different, a different concept, a different topic. Today we'll be talking about what's in my, what's in my. So today I'll be sharing with you all what's in my fridge. If you want to see how I stock up to try and eat healthy and try and lose them weight, <laughs> which I've been struggling with for like forever, then keep on watching. with you know what I'll tell you guys about three things you always find in my fridge at every any time of the year any time of the day any season three things you always find number one you always find eggs I love my eggs because they are so filling and they are packed with protein and on nights when I have those crazy Cravings, I always just go grab myself an egg because you can boil them, fry them, bake them, or even how do you say, cook them. You can do everything with them, and they are so filling and filled with nutrients and protein. So, number one, eggs, you always in my fridge. <laughs> number two, you always find a bottle of champagne, a bottle of bubbles in my fridge because I had to do my trade off between cookies or champagne because technically champagne wine rosé it's a fruit so i decided to go for a fruit and i dish the cookies and candies for a fruit grapefruit <laughs> so you always have my bottle my chilled bottle in the fridge and the third thing you always find in my fridge is some smoked salmon i love my smoked salmon i use them in my eggs I eat them like that just with some I drizzle some lemon juice on it and some green onions and it's so yummy I love this and yeah so three things you always find in my fridge my eggs my champagne and my smoked onions and of course I always have a chilled bottle of water also because sometimes I just don't want the, the alcohol from the champagne I just put my gaseous water in a glass in a champagne glass and i convinced myself i'm having my champagne so that way we stay healthy the free it says it's break time break time <laughs> oh by the way i'm gonna show you guys 
I tried to. Every day we try. Three things my eggs, my bubbles, and my smoked salmon. I always have them. And then, generally, what you always have. Oh, somebody was here. Hello, baby. You want to say hi? Come, come say hi. <laughs> Say hello. Say hello. Mommy's filming. Are you gonna let mommy film? Okay, let mommy finish, okay? We'll be back. Voila. So generally you always find yogurt in my house because this is the main thing we have for breakfast at home. I prefer my Greek yogurt. And we try to have everything bio, uh, bio or organic because I just think the bio and organic stuff are a lot more nutritious. Like the nutrients are still there instead of the, the plain food. You know, when you buy things that are not bio, they taste completely different. Try buying a bio apple and eating it and then buy like just a normal apple and eating it. You'll tell the difference. Oh, it's time for a break again. The fridge says it's time for a break. Hey, Niwa! Time for a break! I guess Noah wants to be part of this video. So, what's the next thing on the fridge? I was talking about the yogurt, so my husband prefers the light version, the light maga version. And I always have my Greek yogurt, the organic one. So these are the things you find in my fridge. And also I have my cream. I use this for my creamy chicken that I eat with my broccoli or cauliflower rice. You should try this. Some creamy chicken and cauliflower rice. I mean, you will never miss rice. This is amazing. I have my secret recipe. Let me know down in the comment section if you want to know my creamy chicken recipe. I'm, I'm going to share. And also, I also have my, uh, you always find this in my fridge, my bro bone broth or bone soup. <laughs> bone broth. I use this especially on days that I fast because I try to do keto and intermittent fasting. Though I'm not very strict with it, but on days that I fast, I have my bone broth so I don't feel so weak. And what else? Of course, some chicken from BioPlanet. We rarely ever cook meat at home. We do meat only exceptions during barbecue, but we will never cook meat at, in my house. We only eat chicken or fish. So, and uh, yeah. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you guys can see this. Oop, the fridge says it's time for a break. Guys. Oh, by the way, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should definitely check out at Modern Day Wife on Instagram. At Modern Day Wife, that's me. I share a lot of my, a lot of contents on my daily life on Instagram. So on my Instagram story, I shared with you guys last week how I just harvested some pears, and I was wondering what I was gonna do with it. I found a recipe online to make like a, a pear puree for babies. So I, that's the pear puree I made. The I always stock up. I can say I live on spinach. Like I have this in all its form. I have it raw, I have it cooked, I have it in smoothie, I have it in my salad and name it. I love my spinach. It's really, really good for my skin. And it also, it's a great source of potassium that helps a lot with weight loss, you know. For those of us struggling to lose some pounds, you wanna stock up on your spinach. Also, you always find in my fridge a reserve bottle of smoothie because I have, I love my smoothie. That's how some of my spinach, I use it for this, you know. And uh, of course, you have some, and you always have some vegetables, veggies, veggies, <laughs> veggies. And some cucumbers, like I just have all my things ready, and uh, I love this. Pray, always find some feta cheese in my house. We have a feta cheese, 
and also some cottage cheese for extra protein this is for my greek salad this with some cucumber and some tomatoes and some olive oil and salt or lemon juice and you are good to go so yummy i'm actually craving some greek salad now just talking about that oh also i have my lemon when i'm too lazy and don't want to squeeze some fresh lemon juice i just use this from the bio store and um, what else do we have here some milk you've seen this on most of my videos i use coconut milk or almond milk those are the two things we have in this house i love fit it this is amazing ever since i started taking this after my workout i feel so good i don't feel so so you know like when you do your workout and the next day you're like <laughs> what happened with this you don't feel that anymore so i always stock up on this and i have them in my fridge oh it's time for a break again we'll be <sighs> boy my son will not let me film oh do you love my outfit some beyonce beyonce <laughs> okay what else oh down here yeah just like meal preps for newer i do my meal preps once every two weeks and i freeze some and uh, i take them out the night before and when he's back from the daycare i just pop it in the microwave and i feed him so i don't have to cook every day and i have some ice blocks and med oopsie <laughs> emergency frozen vegetables broccoli oopsie break down ah. break okay guys I don't know I think that's basically it for today's video let me know if you like this kind of videos you know where i share with you people what i like the things in my fridge and let me know the staples in your fridge if i bump into your house and open your fridge what is it in there that i'm definitely gonna find let me know in the comment section and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and share and i'll see you guys in my next coco you want to say something Say hello. Say hello. <laughs> Smash the subscribe button. So let's help at Modern Day Wife grow. Let's help this channel grow. See you in my next video. Hello, Mr. Nua. <laughs> Where are you going to? You wanna say hello? Will we visit a place, a country, a continent? I try to buy something to come home with. So here you have, for example, the Fifi Thai, Fifi Island in Thailand, where we visited Thailand. And Mykonos, when we were in Mykonos. Oh, Cuba, when we went to Cuba. And Côte d'Azur, Monaco. Sharm in Egypt. Luckily, we're able to travel this 2020. So, yeah.